Austerity was to be the key word in the early 1940s. It was to be applied to those steam locomotives built to the order of the War Department, mass production of which commenced in 1942. These 280s were a development of the Stanier 8F class, many of which were built at the beginning of the war for general use on Britain's railways. The austerities were designed for short-term use at minimum cost and had anticipated lives of just two years. They were intended for use overseas and 935 were built by the end of the war. In addition, large numbers of 060 saddle tanks were built to ministry order based on a standard Hunslet industrial design. Many of these engines would be sold into private ownership after the war, including a number to the LNER, from which they passed into British Railways ownership as Class J-94. The military had been involved with railways from the earliest days. Despite the apparent inflexibility of a railway system, it was unrivaled for mass transportation of troops and equipment. An army operating on foreign soil needed to take over the railways in former enemy territory, so it required troops trained in railway techniques. To this end, the army had set up a special railway operating division, or ROD. In 1905, it had decided to extend the London and South Western Railway's Borden branch in rural Hampshire to its training camp at Longmoor, which acted as a training program in railway construction. By the beginning of the First World War, the Wooler Instructional Railway, as it was then known, was also used for training for railway operation. But after that war, it was run down. In the 1930s, the railway's name was changed to the Longmoor Military Railway and rehabilitated, so that at the start of our decade, with the course of the Second World War already at its worst for Britain, it was an essential part of the Army's training program. During the build-up to the D-Day landings, many of the austerities were loaned to Britain's mainline railway companies, and all but three were to be shipped abroad. 735 returned, two being retained by the army at Longmoor. 108 were stored, and the rest again loaned to the home railways. The LNER bought 200, which they classified 07, the others going to the southern, and, as seen here at Warwick and Leamington, the Great Western. In 1948, the newly formed British Railways bought the remaining 533.